guys, it's Autumn Lacroix, and I'm filming on the stairs because why the heck not? As of right now, I am currently home alone. My dad just left this morning to go on a business trip for a few days, and my mom is currently still in California visiting my sister. And thus, this results in little me being home alone. Now one thing that I really love about being home alone, even if it's for a few hours, is being able to make videos for you guys because I don't like making videos when other people are in the house because I feel awkward, they can hear me talk to a camera. So that is just one of my advantages of being home alone. And there's also some other really good points to being home alone. And not only can I make a video for you guys today, but I also decided to make a video about being home alone. Whether you guys have been home alone at some point in your life or not, I hope that this video can uh, entertain you and help you learn a thing or two about what it's like to be home alone. Now of course when it comes to waking up in the morning into an empty household, obviously you're gonna expect some peace and quiet. No more of your mom thinking that it's a good idea for some reason to vacuum the house at 8 a.m. in the morning. No more of your dad clashing the dishes together while unloading the dishwasher. Oh, and especially no more of your brothers and sisters running up and down the halls screaming at each other. If you've been through one of these things or all of the above, you're really gonna enjoy being home alone. Another great thing about being home alone is that you are your own boss. You are your own boss. You get to call the shots. You can choose when to leave and when to come back and do whatever you want for as long as you want. Or you can stay home and not have to worry about going out at all. Now personally for me, I really love being in the comfort of my own home, especially when I'm by myself. And I really wouldn't want to go out anywhere unless I have plans, I have to run errands, or I just simply feel like going out. Otherwise, I love kicking it around here and just simply being a giant couch potato. Now overall, this is just a really great experience, whether it be for only a few hours or a few days, like me in this case, uh, you really get to experience what it's like to live on your own and having that 100% true independence. I mean, not all of us, but well, I'm working on it. Another great thing about being home alone is that you can eat literally whatever you want. You have a full fridge and a full pantry, all to yourself. Besides, you don't have your parents around telling you what you're allowed to eat and what you're not allowed to eat because you're your own boss at this point. Unless you were that unfortunate soul of a child who had parents hiding treats from you constantly. And I would know because that was, that was me at one point. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this? doing in the fridge. You know what? It doesn't matter what it was doing in the fridge. I know exactly what to do with this. I'm gonna hide it from my mom in my belly. <laughs> Eventually at some point you're gonna feel like being home alone is kind of boring. Well that's not entirely the case. The only thing that you can do for yourself is keeping yourself busy. For example, I love making videos and doing photography and also occasionally playing with my new Nintendo Switch right here. I also really enjoy knitting toques and scarves. Do something that you find is interesting and fun. Being home alone doesn't mean that you have to sit around and do absolutely nothing. One of my favorite things about being home alone is that you can act out however you want and no one's gonna interrupt you or intrude on you. And what I mean by acting out is that you can, you know, go as crazy as you want here. Let me specify. You can run around the house. You can scream as loud as you want. You can sing. I'm not scared to be seen. I'll make no apology. This is me. You can dance. You know I'm back. Like I never lived. I never, I never sweat. I never step. And no one's gonna be around to hear you or watch you. Unless you, uh. Unless some creeper outside is watching you. That leads into my next thing about being home alone. When it comes to being home alone, 
you'll most likely be home alone even in the night and that can be really scary it's definitely one of my least favorite things about being home alone i mean you'll be laying in bed and suddenly you'll start hearing noises outside of your room or downstairs and you don't know what the heck it is. It could most possibly be house settling noises but if you're a very paranoid person like me, you're gonna think it's either a ghost or a robber or some sort of, I don't know, intrusion. I mean especially if you watch scary movies in the middle of the night, you should probably stop doing that because that's just gonna make things a lot more worse I would know but you know I'm just gonna calm down I'm gonna go to sleep and it's gonna be a nice sleep <sighs> I might as well end the video here if you guys enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments below let me know what you want to see next and thanks for watching goodbye stay weird and I'll see you next Monday bye